Subscribe to Siksha Online and click on the bell icon for more updates. Okay students, in today's class of research methodology, we would be discussing about questionnaire and sampling. The topics that we are going to discuss are, first obviously the introduction to the concept of questionnaire design and sampling. Then we would be discussing about important points while designing the questionnaire, types of questions in a questionnaire, what considerations we have to consider while designing a questionnaire, sampling and of course merits of sampling. Apart from that, we are also going to discuss the demerits of sampling, what are the essential requirements of sampling, statistical laws, sampling errors and of course we are going to discuss what are the reasons behind these errors creeping in, types of sampling errors, reducing the sampling errors. We would be also discussing about the testing of hypothesis, what are the different types of errors in testing of hypothesis, merits of sampling errors and of course the demerits of sampling errors. Okay, now let's first understand what is questionnaire design before we move on to sampling. A questionnaire is a set of questions. You often would have come across many type of questionnaires when often when you buy something, they ask you to give a feedback form. That feedback form is nothing but a research questionnaire, which has a fixed set of pattern of questions. These questions could be related to personal aspects. These could be related to the product aspect. This could be related to your satisfaction level with the product or brand. So this way of collecting the information from the respondents to have an idea what is their mindset about the product or the service is known as questionnaire. And there is a fixed pattern of designing this questionnaire. Let us see what is the pattern. There could be two types of questionnaires, a structured or a standardized questionnaire wherein every question is in a fixed pattern. The pattern of questions is fixed in the sense the same set of questions will be going to all the respondents. Then there is an unstructured questionnaire where the pattern of questions is not fixed. That means for each respondent different set of questions or in different sequence they are asked. Now let us understand the definition of a questionnaire. A questionnaire is a series of questions either in a fixed pattern or non-fixed pattern asked from the respondents, this is called a questionnaire. Now let us understand what are the important points that need to be considered while we are designing a questionnaire for research study. Try to keep a questionnaire very small. Too many questions, say around 20, 25 questions should not be there in the questionnaire. And the question should be very crisp, very clear and the wording of the questionnaire should be very well done because if the respondent is not able to interpret what you are asking, they will not be able to give you the right idea. So it's very important that the questions should be designed in such a way that they are simple to understand and also to read and answer. Don't put in too many multiple choice questions, don't put in too many open ended questions and avoid putting too many descriptive questions. Now let us understand what are the various types of questions that can be asked in a questionnaire. There could be closed ended questions wherein there are only two options either a yes or a no. Then you can have a multiple choice questions wherein the respondent can use more than one option or there could be a attitude based questions wherein there is a spectrum. We usually use a scale to explain these questions. For example, you would have heard about or read about strongly agree strongly disagree and there is a continuum in between. So there can be different types of questions. Now let us understand what we should consider while designing a questionnaire. 